So we're here in Bumadanda village, which is one of the most remote areas uh, of uh, eastern Uganda. And 400 children and seven teachers work in this school. And the income levels are very low of the villages here. And this is a community which ASIT has sought to serve for a number of years with uh, encouraging community social action groups to self-help, uh, to encouraging community savings schemes to which allow people to borrow money after they've saved for a while. Camera. <laughs> it's called Bunabuloli Church of Uganda. I say it slowly. Bunabuloli. And how many people meet in the church? Uh, 360. We've just been talking to people who run a savings and loans association for 25 households uh, which provides uh, income and jobs. The team is organised into community social action groups which do all kinds of things including looking after the elderly and vulnerable, putting new roofs on their homes, looking after orphans, helping women with HIV to get access to treatment, encouraging couples to get tested for HIV and so on. So one of the projects has been to enable people to buy uh, animals, uh, cows for example, and grain and other things to improve their own agriculture and income. So here is a home with solar panels that yes. you can see on the roof. Fantastic. And these solar panels have been bought using one of the loans from the Savings and Loans Association in the village. She's one of our members. She's Maria Mwazemba who uh, has also money to get a solar panel. She is able now to get some, some little money because she can charge phones this at home. So you charge other people's phones? Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah. Even this okay. one also charges yeah. phones. And there's yet another one. These kinds of things can really help people or helping them to buy a cow, which can then uh, give uh, birth to a calf, which can then be sold back into the project or to buy a goat. We've seen all kinds of animals here uh, around the compound. And, and these are all ways of increasing the income of uh, marginalized and vulnerable people. So there's the solar panel. The solar is supplying these other shops in the trading center. Mm. 300 per day? Yes. Mm. Yeah, that one also pay 300. Then plus charging phones. Then charging phones. <laughs> five bulbs supplying five shops. It means one bulb at 300 shillings per day. And a month you have 9,000 times five. That is 45,000 per month. And within three to six months, you would have recovered the initial cost of the solar panel. So we're now going to see where the solar charger is used to charge phones. So you can buy almost anything in the trading station here. Asset is a church-based organization. Come to the grassroots. Its target is to they came and created awareness to show love to our church people and even those ones outside the church. My, my, my Naume in us to share with us what we should do actually. And my wife happens to be one of the members. Thank you. We were hearing from some people just now that before Asset started working in the village, they were very afraid to come forward and be tested and they really weren't sure what to do if they got a result that was positive. But since, as it's been involved, uh, people have been much more comfortable about being tested. They've been able to uh, know how to get treatments uh, and the whole community has benefited. In Asset, when we choose to work in a community, uh, we choose to work uh, in, in the community structures that are existing. And so we choose to work with the church, we choose to work with the health center in that community and also the school. So the three are, are combined efforts to uh, make even the response stronger against HIV AIDS.
Well, here we are in one of the schools in this community. It's Bubiangu Primary School. It's actually the only primary school in this community and uh, they are lucky to also have one secondary school uh, which also Asset happens to work with in a regular life skills program. Primary school. So this is one of the health centers that uh, Asset works with in this community. It expanded due to de uh, demand for more services, prevention of mother to child transmission, and they actually also do deliveries, uh, ART services, and they also do admissions. Here's a poster at the health center encouraging people to take their antiviral medication if they have HIV on things like uh, preventing malaria by using mosquito nets and making sure that you get uh, tested for HIV if you're pregnant and that you make, have a midwife that delivers you rather than a traditional birth attendant. And these community social action groups don't just uh, look after themselves, they really look after at the most marginalised edges of their own marginalised communities. So that might mean uh, putting a new roof on the home, the mud hut home, of an elderly person who has no other relatives alive to look after her. It's made of banana leaves and will need to be redone every now and then. Or maybe they can save enough money to put a corrugated iron roof on her home. Or maybe it's uh, helping uh, to look after uh, some orphan children by selling the milk of a cow. Some of the milk is drunk by the children, some of it is used to provide income, it helps to buy books and pay their school fees so they can attend school on a regular basis. So these are the kind of things that happen. This is uh, actually predominantly Islamic community here, uh, but there are some uh, small churches as well. And these community projects work across Christian and Islamic communities without discrimination, uh, showing the love of God uh, to communities in need. So there are support action groups in 58 churches across this region. The savings associations allow people to save a certain amount each month and then they can borrow a couple of times that after eight weeks. They have to repay in about eight weeks um, but, uh, and then the whole program closes down after 12 months and all the interest from all the different pots of money that's been borrowed uh, gets paid out according to people's savings and how much they put in in the first place. And the repayment rates are very, very high. The community loan associations are working very well and are popular, generating a lot of jobs for people 